There are 61 living Medal of Honor recipients who performed actions during Vietnam. And in World War II, 464 medals were handed out for bravery above and beyond the call of duty. Our next hero earned his medal while over the Pacific in World War II. I'd like to be in Iraq with the uh, troops right now, but uh, I'm so damn far over the hill, it won't take me. <laughs> 85 year old James Sweat is a retired Marine officer, a World War II veteran, a decorated fighter pilot with 15 confirmed kills, and if that weren't enough. This is the Congressional Medal of Honor, as authorized by Congress, presented by the President. He's a Congressional Medal of Honor recipient. I was in uh, Corpus Christi when uh, the war broke out. And then uh, we sailed for uh, Oahu in that, in that December. And uh, we got out there in late, late uh, 42, and that's when I joined VMF 221. Stayed with it throughout the entire war. We were the fighting Falcons, and uh, they were um, uh, responsible for the withdrawal of the Japanese uh, to a great extent from Midway. After the Battle of Midway, the Fighting Falcon's main objective was to protect Guadalcanal after the U.S. seized it from Japan in 1942. The island was located on a major shipping lane between Australia and Hawaii. There wasn't much action until 1st of April. We were ordered to circle the field and stay out of the business, but just protect the airfield. On April 7th, 1943, Jim would have his chance to get into the business. The smiley Burnett of uh, 214, he said, my God, there's millions of them. We didn't see or anything here, of, uh, but uh, boy, we could see a black cloud of enemy aircraft. And I slammed the coal to the, uh, to the Wildcat. I got one of them just as he was pushing over. And then another one was part way down, or down quite a ways. And then another one was down at the bottom when they pushed out. So, it was, boy, that was pretty good. I just get right behind them, get down below, so that the rear gunner couldn't shoot at me without shooting his own tail off. So I just stick my nose up and give them a quick blast, and they catch on fire. Good deal. They, this was duck soup, you know. Jim shot down seven planes in nine minutes, an action that earned him the Congressional Medal of Honor. I didn't realize the, the, how valuable it, it really was or is um, until I had it for a few months and uh, realized that, my God almighty, this is the, the most awesome uh, medal is ever given and uh, are awarded to a person for wartime service. And I just can't believe that I was so damn lucky in uh, surviving such a thing because uh, about 65 to 70 percent are posthumous. And uh, I, I just uh, somehow or other just lucked out. I'm, I'm happy to do to be here and tell you about this stuff. There's more to this story. Jim Sweat lives in the small Northern California town of Trinity Center, where he shares a special bond with his best friend, Vietnam vet and fellow Congressional Medal of Honor recipient, James Taylor. We met in 1968 in Houston, Texas. Was that where we were? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, Good place to be from. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These men performed incredible feats of valor in two different wars, in countries far removed, and now they're neighbors. And it's funny, we don't talk about the medal or what you got that you don't, you don't talk about. You talk about how's your family, how's your kids, how's your grandkids. Who so, can drink the most? <laughs> <laughs> Success to temperance. Ha, 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 ha.